purpose of tonight's program is to help people understand the chemistry of the process that is behind how a fresco is created and to hear something about how the environment can affect a fresco and how the chemistry can be used and nanotechnology to reverse detrimental effects. This program was really great for me because it was so interdisciplinary. I was able to apply chemistry to art, which was something that I never thought I would be able to do. And so it was kind of this combination of art, environmental science, and chemistry, which was really great for me. It was like the perfect fit. So this sort of communication, teamwork, and collaboration is central to the way all kinds of discoveries are made today. The meetings and the classes that we had were very much geared toward studying the techniques that are used for art restoration and cultural conservation in Italy. And so when we were able to go to Italy and I was able to see the artworks which we had studied in front of me and see the conservation labs where all of this work is being done and take part in, in studies being performed by one of the best labs in the world for art restoration, it was a really great way to apply what I had learned. It definitely strengthened my passion for doing research and being in the lab because I absolutely loved that component of the program. And I also learned a lot about nanotechnology as a broader science and how nanotechnology can be applied to so many different areas of research. So I think it opens a lot of doors. This is the sort of project that to us epitomizes what IDEAL is all about. It is bridging these gaps. This is what we want for our students. This is why the Ideal Center is so important.